Welcome to MicroStrategy Blog. This is Jeremy. I'm going to go over a couple of things. Um, I just recently did a new installation of uh, the MicroStrategy free reporting suite on my new computer. I'm kind of retiring my old slow computer and just using it for development. Uh, but this is my nice faster computer that I, I have all my gaming on, so I just kind of want to have everything in one system. So I'm going to have the MicroStrategy iServer on this as well. And there's just uh, something that I wanted to point out. Uh, because these are problems that I've come across when I'm doing the setup that I think I could share with you because some people, I'm sure, if I've had the problem, uh, unless I'm really, really stupid, which is, you know, that's possible, um, some other people may have had the problem. So I just want to kind of show you one of the problems that I've had, which is related to uh, when you set up your um, iServer and you have your local host MicroStrategy um, slash MicroStrategy slash ASP, when you go into it, you'll notice sometimes it'll prompt this. The server requires a username and password. Well, this is going to really end up being your, your computer name as well as whatever your computer password is. Um, and then that's how you connect to it. But if this is just really a development box and you're only going to be using it for that, you don't plan on doing uh, uh, rolling this out or there's no external uses, this is just something you're doing to learn the tool, I kind of want to show you how to do that so that you can just go directly into it and then a couple of settings that I like to tweak. So. If you go to your IIS manager, which you can find by going start menu and typing IIS, just so you know I have Windows 7. Um, the quick way to fix this is if you look at your, uh, your root in your sites and then your default website, this is where all your MicroStrategy stuff will be. If you just go into MicroStrategy, there is going to be an authentication. Uh, you can just double click on that. And the big thing is just an anonymous authentication. If, if you want uh, anonymous people to be able to access this, just go ahead and enable it. So now, um, if we, we'll just go ahead and open a new tab. Or let's just go ahead and close this. Let's do it in Internet Explorer. There you go. Now it just automatically connects. I, Internet Explorer has all this extra stuff. Uh, but the next thing you'll know is it says uh, you don't have any projects connected to this web server. Again, hopefully you set everything up local. So to configure, it says just go ahead and go to the administrator, and then it's going to go. It's going to prompt you again for all your username and password stuff. Um, so to add a server manually, it's usually localhost, unless you guys have uh, your your iServer on a different machine, um, or you have a name machine, or you have multiple whatevers. Just it's usually localhost. And then it'll tell you, oh, yes, here it is. I want to change it to automatically connect whenever a web server, intelligence server started. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Let's turn that stuff off. Oh, that's giving me an error. Let's go back to Chrome. I don't like this. So we'll do it in Chrome. There we go. Web administrator, server manually, localhost, connect. There we go. So if we go ahead and we can go to the properties, we can modify those properties and uh, change it so it says automatically connect to intelligence server when it started. So we want to go ahead and do that so that um, whenever you start up your iServer, you already ha automatically have this. So now if you go back to your, uh, your start menu, you'll see this. Now, this is something I was going to touch in on a different blog, but I'll go ahead and roll it in now. Um, I don't like the way this is set up. I don't like that it has MicroStrategy tutorial. You click on it, then it has you log in. Because what you're basically doing is exposing all of your uh, projects before. I like it so that when you log in, uh, first it prompts you for login, then it displays all your projects. So let's go back to the web administrator and we're going to go to default properties. And you see where it says project list, show all projects connected to the web server before user log in, logs in. Go ahead and change that. Log in, then show projects. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go back home. Okay, so now you can see. Log in. There you go. Now there's all your projects. So this is kind of a, a better flow. Um, 
because maybe you don't want external people seeing all the projects that you have available, or maybe you kind of want to authorize it so that, you know, person A only sees MicroStrategy tutorial and piece of person B only sees Salesforce analysis. That way you're not exposing kind of all the different things that are out there to everybody. Or possibly you have a development environment, a production environment, and a user approved test environment. You just, you don't want to confuse kind of the, the end user with all those different environments. You just want to expose what's important to them. Uh, this is just an easier way to do it, to control it so that when they log in, then, then you have everything uh, that they need to see. So, all right. Uh, again, this is MicroStrategy Blog. If you have any questions, go ahead and send me an email, microstrategyblog at gmail.com, and uh, open to suggestions. So thank you very much.